we have a a, a, a indie comic uh, convention called Staple here in Austin. Okay. Uh, it's been running running for about fourteen years. It's really uh, an amazing convention. All indie hmm. stuff. No, uh, you know, none of the big three, uh, you know, comic book companies. Um, a lot of uh, self published stuff there. Um, and every time I go to it, man, it would just eat at me because I'm seeing everybody doing the thing I want to do. Yeah. And I went every year faithfully go every year. Uh, and in one year I just went, you know what? I'm buying a table. Really? I'm How much are table. the tables? First of all, 300 bucks, maybe really, uh, you know, was it, it okay. yeah, it wasn't all that right. bad. Okay. Um, I highly advise if you get a chance, of course, they're not going to have one this year because of uh, our friend COVID. Right. Um, but if you get a chance, it, it's a fantastic convention, you know, just a weekend thing. Yeah. Um, so I bought the table and again, without a plan, without an idea and without, you know, building up those chops of drawing every day, I completely failed on this one. I would stand there at my drafting table with paper supplies ready to go. And I couldn't even bring myself to sit down at the table. So you booked yourself into it, but you had no material. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, okay. I, had a, I had a long enough lead time yeah. that if I did it, got, went to, well, you know, went to printing, I had all of my stuff planned out of the timeline would work. Uh huh. But, I had to actually do the comic. Right. I kind of love this, though. Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> so somewhere in the middle of that, I went, I've got a problem. I, 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 I have a problem, and I need to go talk to someone. And I found a therapist, and I went sit in front of this guy and explained to him pretty much what I just told you. Yeah. And I... It was a crisis of identity. Uh, you know, I was, I, I was, am I really an artist? You know, uh, it's what I thought about myself since I was a little kid, mm -hmm. but I don't draw anymore. I don't paint anymore. I'm not creating anything. And at that point, I wasn't even writing anymore. Am I really an artist? And this dude listened to all of this and went, all right, well, I want you to go and think about this, that, if you're not doing art, you're not an artist. And, uh, yeah, it was like, you know, the air got sucked out of the room. My head started spinning. Uh, cause I didn't know who I was. I didn't, I didn't know what life looked like with me not doing art. Although that's what my life looked like. It was me not doing art because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't doing anything. And this guy, you know, I think he meant well. I don't, you know, I don't think he was malicious or anything. Uh, mm -hmm. And it may have been the same deal with the dean of the art department. You know, it may have been one of those things where he wanted me to actually go and think about it and that right. to propel me to do something. Um, I ended up going to see another therapist um, and I got diagnosed with ADHD mm. at, you know, age. 38, 39, uh, which made a lot of sense, but it also was kind of a hard diagnosis to swallow, yeah. you know, because I look back at all of these stops and starts and stops and starts, and I went, oh, maybe that's why all this was kind of happening. It wasn't that it was just a lazy shit. It was that there was, you know, something actually going on there. Hmm. Um, so it was kind of hard to swallow. And I, I did something about it though. I didn't want to use uh, drugs for it. I found a therapist who specialized in ADHD hmm. and I started seeing her and she got me back into drawing and she pushed me to Instagram. And, and I know, think you started been... on Instagram just back in 2018, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it that was right around the time where I started drawing dailyish, uh, and I say dailyish because you know it, it it definitely wasn't every single day. Yeah. Um, but you know that that was kind of where 
where all that happened. 